Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool whip transition in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the transition looks like. Now, don't worry, it does actually involve a plugin, however, it's completely free. You may kind of ask yourself if you're familiar with Final Cut, you're going to be really curious on how in the world did I make the background um, do that kind of like whipping motion. I believe like After Effects has a, like a, an effect that's similar to that, that's how they do like the popular whip slide effect, but Final Cut doesn't have that effect, so how in the world did I create that? Well, basically, I used a transition. It's as funny as that sounds, I used a transition and a compound clip. So I'm gonna head over to the example right here. I'm gonna head over here to the transitions tab right here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to vlog transitions free. Now, obviously, this is not built in a Final Cut. You have to download this from Ryan Nagel. So yes, this is the pack that I'm using, vlog transitions free. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here, take this transition and this slide left transition. Now, as you can see right there, let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there you go. That's how you create that really cool um, whip slide effect. You just gonna use a um, transition, uh, a transition right there. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and go over here the transition. I'm gonna change the blur, but I'm gonna crank it all the way up to 100%. You of course can make it you know lower, higher, whatever is up to you. I would say probably the highest amount possible, so you get the nicest amount of blur. Then I'm gonna go ahead and head over here, add an adjustment layer. Now this adjustment layer by itself does not have a massive purpose, but what I just did right here was because I'm gonna use a compound clip, I like to actually have an adjustment layer right here for markers because when it turns into a when it turns into a compound clip, I can't see where the transition starts and where the transition uh, transition ends. So having an adjustment layer just kind of marks, as you can see right here, it starts right here and then we go back and then it ends right here. So just the adjustment layer serves more um, as a guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the clips right here. Or actually, never mind. I'll select just the clip in the transition. Option G, and I'm going to create a compound clip right there so as you see right there the compound clip is right here as you see like I said before now I don't know where the transition starts and I don't know where the transition ends so thank thankfully the adjustment layer now I know exactly where the transition ends and where the transition begins so I'm gonna go ahead hold down option and I'm going to create a copy right there now I'm gonna head over where this marker is right here because this is basically where the freeze frame is right there. So I'll go ahead and head over to that marker right here. I guess you can place a marker right here if you want to right there and then place a marker right there just to make sure everything's lined up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a freeze frame. So I'm gonna hold down option F to create a freeze frame right there and then I'm just going to delete the start and the end and I'm going to go ahead, head over here, and go to Lift From Storyline. Now I'm going to go ahead and just trim the freeze frame right there, and then just trim the freeze frame right here. I'm going to go ahead, click on Rename, and I'm just going to type in a freeze frame. I've been freeze so just kind of so it's not confusing. So we'll go ahead and go right here. I'll go ahead and disable and enable the clip. As you can see, these two frames are the exact frame. So it's just like a normal freeze frame. So I go ahead and play it right here. Like a, uh, freezes right there we keep going I think it's like 22 frames something like that and then there you go now you're basically just basically create a normal freeze frame but it's a little bit different so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead head over here apply a draw mask onto the clip right there uh, just gonna do a um, horrific selection just for the sake of the video like I always say you know I keep you know kind of repeating myself but if you're gonna do this for like you know a serious video with well, like a real video, um, yeah, you're definitely not gonna wanna have your draw mask as rough uh, as I have it right there. So let's go ahead and there you go. Now we just cut out the person. As you can see, there we go. Now it's starting to look more like what it did um, in the intro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and so I'll go just play it right here. And now if this looks fine to you, then by all means go for this right there. The only problem is it just kinda like pops up on screen and then 
it just does that which is kind of cool but it's also kind of boring so what i'm going to do right here is i'm just going to extend this um plus 10 frames out just to basically create a slide in freeze frame now this is where you know your creativity this is where you can have to show your creativity you could do a whole bunch of different ways to do this what i'm just going to do right here is i'm just going to basically have the freeze frame slide in from the bottom you can have it slide in anywhere you want you could go through all of my freeze frame videos you know and pick which one you want but it's good to have some sort of freeze frame either him sliding in panning in rather than him just you know popping at popping up on the screen the cut looks way too um harsh go ahead and head over here we can just tra change this to uh, linear that way it looks a lot better uh, when it comes to keyframing depends on you know which one you like so go ahead and play it right here so as you can see there we go it slides up he slides up right there and then it rotates right there and then boom there we go now he's back into himself now you can go ahead head over here um, add motion blur you have to actually download this. this is also I believe from Ryan Nagel motion blur is just gonna help um, sell the sliding freeze frame just to help make um, make it look a lot nicer as you can see there's a little bit of blur as he slides in it's just making the um, keyframe animation look a lot more you know seamless so you can see there we go he slides up nice and smooth and then there we go the background just whips across right there and now He's back into place, and now the video keeps playing. So it's definitely a really cool effect. A uh, really cool effect. Now you can go ahead and just download, like I said before, download the um, vlog transitions free pack um, from Ryan Nagel, and that's all you have to do right there. So you can see right here, here's the compound clip right here. Here is the transition in between the two clips. I just created a compound clip. Use an adjustment layer to mark where it starts, where it ends. Create a freeze frame right here on the marker, just like you would like a normal video um, right there as you can see that you know, this is where the transition is right here the transition kind of whip slides right there and I basically just have like a normal generic um, sliding freeze frame right there and then there we go so you see uh, start the beginning he slides up right here for the first 10 frames and then for like 22 frames right here where the transition is because that background just kind of whips across right there now if you want to have a moving while it's doing doing it you can definitely track the mask that's one option uh, tracking a mask in Final Cut because Final Cut doesn't have rotoscoping like After Effects it's not gonna look as good but yeah, that's a personal preference and that's all up to you simple as that so again go over here vlog transitions free using the slide left transition right there i'll make sure to put it down the link down in the description below so you can go and download it um, for free and that's how you create it really cool really simple and creative effect and hopefully you kind of like this really you know like i said before really creative really different type of effect i've never uh never seen anybody use a transition as an effect so maybe i'm the first person to ever come up with this so Maybe I'm you know, a super creative person or whatever, but it's a really cool idea. Just I, I didn't get I didn't get inspiration from anybody. I literally just came up with this idea with messing around with a couple different effects. That is going to be as, as close as you're going to get to a whip slide um, in Final Cut Pro. I know After Effects is more popular there, but that is again like I said before, that's the closest you're going to get to a whip slide effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoyed these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See ya in the next one. Peace.